Hi there guys, Jean back with you. Uh, tonight I want to share some fascinating anomalies that I've found. Um, I've actually included them in an article in my blog. You guys can find it under follow up posts and uh, I've given it the title of Soviet Mars 3 lander or something else. This is it here yeah, guys and uh, what they speculate is that they found um, the Soviet Mars 3 lander parachute, possibly the heat shield, the retro rocket, and then the lander itself. Guys, uh, let me take you to the two high rise photos that are covered in this NASA article. The first one is here, and um, it's called Could This Be the Soviet Mars 3 Lander? It was written some time ago and uh, in this article they speculate that they may have found um, objects that resemble parts of this lander. So here's the other one. This one was taken first on the 18th of November 2007 and they called it uh, Center of Soviet Mars 3 Landing Ellipse. So they had a suspicion that the craft could have possibly landed in this area. And then uh, subsequent to that, they took a photograph on the 10th of March 2013 to try and identify these different objects. There you can see uh, what they think is the parachute. Uh, guys, uh, back in my blog, those images are very, very small, so I've uh, increased their size and uh, I played it a little bit with the contrast and brightness just to bring out the details, but that there is what they speculate could be the parachute, that there the heat shield. And guys, this reminds me of another object I found some time ago in another video that I posted to, to YouTube. It's this one over here. Uh, Stranger Things on Mars. I include the link to this article in my blog as well as the high-rise photograph. I'll include those URLs in the video description below. But uh, here's that object that I found um, in the one area of the photo and then there it is again. And uh, what I speculate is that these objects look alike. There's, there you can see what looks like a little almost rectangular base with a little dome on top here as well that looks like one as well guys and uh, there near the, the what looks like a eroded pyramid but let me go back to that object that intrigues me there you can see it's got like a, a base and a little dome sphere looking object on top and uh, I'm going to try and zoom in even further for you guys with smaller screens it's going to be very pixelated so I hope you guys can make that out so there's the base and what looks like a little uh, dome on top I'll come back to that sphere or dome looking object there as well as the other ones guys Let's just quickly go back to the, uh, the other photograph of the similar object and I'll try and zoom in on that one as well And you can see guys it's got like this base and a little dome on top 
I know the angles and the lighting is completely different, but uh, I'm inclined to think these might be similar. Let's just have a look at the other one, which is this one here. Look at that, guys. There you can see it looks very similar to that uh, that other object that they think could be the lander or the uh, rocket. Let's just go back to it. That there, the the heat shield. Pardon me. Let's quickly zoom in on it again. So yeah, they it looks very similar to that. Look at that, guys. Over there and over there. Look how similar those objects look. Always that uh, highly speculative, guys. Let's quickly get back to the other anomaly. Okay, it's messing me around because I I zoomed in on this article. So there we've got what looks like a dome, and uh, there as well. There we've got another object with a dome. Look at that shadow that it cost, guys, and. Uh, what I find fascinating about this high-rise photo is that NASA actually um, basically admits that these are not natural artifacts or anomalies, guys. And uh, the last paragraph, uh, quote, Together, this set of features and their layout on the ground provide a remarkable match to what is expected from Mars 3 landing. But alternative explanations for these features cannot be ruled out. So yeah, there is the question. Further analysis of the data and future images to better understand the 3D shapes may help to confirm this interpretation. So guys, yes, yeah, they have basically uh, admitted um, that these objects are not natural and that they could be um, man-made, Martian-made objects and uh, alternative explanations cannot be ruled out. This is fascinating. I think it's uh, an important article. If you guys can read it, I'll include the link to this page and this one in the video description below as always guys. Just have a look at this uh, photo. Um, the anomalies are very small so I just want to give you guys an idea of what this actually looks like. I downloaded the JP2 to get uh, these cropped images for you guys. So yeah, there we go. Just download. So this is it, yeah. The uh, the parachute is over here somewhere, very small. Um, and the other objects over here somewhere, guys. Just shows you how small they really are. Uh, what's also nice is that NASA's included a link to the two photos. Um, let's just see, is it this one here? Yes, there we go. So that's the one photograph, the other one, taken about six years apart. And then they give you an indication as to where to find these objects in uh, the two photographs. 
So there's the parachute, candidate parachute as I call it. The uh, retro rocket and lander and then the heat shield. So could it be the Mars 3 lander guys or is this another man-made um, anomaly? They definitely aren't natural because uh, NASA is speculating that these are definitely objects. So uh, very interesting. Guys, let me know what you think um, in the comments below and hopefully I'll get back to you very soon with some more anomalies and in the meantime keep well and be safe. Bye bye for now.